Welcome to today's video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about market structure as a channel analyst. And before we go forward, I need to understand forward that this video is going to be a part of a series that will break down market structure and several technical terms and technical analysis tools for you to be profitable as a trader. This tutorial is brought to you by PeepsyKX. And our WhatsApp contact is plus 2348055369615. And I, Investor to you, will be your host for this class. So let's go in. If you're new to this YouTube community, do it to like this video, subscribe for more trading contents like this, and share with others to help them out too. With that said, let's proceed into the markets, shall we? Now, we have market structure one, stages of the market. One thing to understand for you is that the market doesn't just rally up or rally down. It moves in stages. And this is why we're going to talk about the stages of the market shortly. So we have various stages in the market. So let me get my test to out. And um, let's write this out correctly. So the stages we have in the market directly, we have, let me work with this. We have the accumulation stage. So let me use caps or, yes, I think this will be better for you to understand. Accumulation stage. We have the advancing stage. We have, oh, that didn't come true. Well. We have the advancing stage. We have the distribution and we also have the decline so i'm going to be explaining these concepts in this video so stay with me and we also have the decline so yes accumulation advancing distribution and decline okay i'm going to take this it looks too big so let me reduce it um i think 16 should be okay yeah so i believe you can see it here accumulation advancing distribution and decline yeah, so this is so these are the four stages in the market: accumulation, advancing, distribution, and decline. Now, we understanding these stages, I'm going to draw out diagram so I can understand how it plays out. So I'm going my paths right now and explain the stages for you one after the other. So yes, a market doesn't just rally up like we mentioned earlier. The real things like the market is currently accumulating and the market is ready to distribute. Okay, hence different scenarios in market happen for me the market structure so this is what usually happens in markets you clearly have this impulsive move to the upside okay you have things like this happening in the market this is where the market consolidating and depending on where this occurs this can be either seen as an accumulation or distribution so we have something like this going on and again the market can do something like this also consolidate again for a while and then come down so I'm going to explain using this diagram directly and then um, I'll break it down for you to understand. So you can see from here, the markets from this part of the chart, follow this cross here. From this part, moved all the way up, then started doing this consolidation wire. So I'm going to get my rectangle tool. Hope I've colored this properly. No. So I'm going to set the color for this because I have my own set of colors I work with and I love working with them. It just makes my work clean. My border, I don't really need a border here. So um middle line yes background directly so i need this as my background increase it okay so i'm 20 already so this should be cool so yes so this is my border directly and this is my end. so yeah this is my rectangle directly so this shows me where accumulation takes place in markets here shows us advancing here talks about distribution here talks about decline so you can understand it better i'm going to give you the definitions and i'll break down what they mean with what i have on the screen so Accumulation. Accumulation is literally consolidation in the markets that leads the markets to a breakout to the upside. So whenever the market consolidates and then breaks out to the upside, you know that this consolidation here is called an accumulation. So let me label them so that we can actually have them on our charts and we can learn properly from there. So yes, I'm going to call this accumulation. I like all caps, honestly speaking. Accumulation. And I hope you also enjoy all caps. So I'm going to move this up. Yeah, this accumulation stage. So let me just put it down so I can see it. Um, here is going to be our advancing stage. So where's my text to? These are advancing. So this is advancing stage. Yeah, this part here is going to be called our uh, distribution. Different traders have different definitions, different things to work with. But if you want to understand the brand I'm teaching you on how to profitable, stay with me. All right, this is called distribution. And here is going to call our decline. Our decline. So this is literally it. All right. 
accumulation, advancing distribution, and decline. Accumulation, like I mentioned earlier, is a consolidation that leads the markets to break out to the upside. Uh, distribution, this distribution over here, is a consolidation too. As you can clearly see, up and down movement, sideways movement of market, that's a consolidation. And this is a consolidation that leads the markets to break out to the downside. All right, so with this definition, you already understand accumulation and distribution. But well, there's something called advancing and declining that's on the chart I haven't explained. So it's literally easy to get it from the chart. It means advancing literally means um a characterized uptrend. So the market moving an uptrend, you just know the market is advancing, advancing, uptrend. You get the point. All right. Why a decline literally means a characterized downtrend. All right. So basically, a market move to the downward, but is literally seen as a downtrend, and you can call that a decline in markets. All right, so accumulation, advancing, distribution, and decline. So this is market structure properly explained in these stages. But despite we have these stages in the market, there are other things the market tend to do, and some of us are actually aware of it. All right, but we're not aware. Let me break it down with this explanation. So sometimes in the market, you see the market do something like this. It forms an advancing move. All right, in an auction, it goes like this. Does accumulation moves up? All right, advance again. Yes accumulation and instead of conforming a decline here the market then pushes to the upside all right pushes to the upside over here now when this happens in the markets we call this an accumulation okay i think next time i'll just add the text but we don't call this an accumulation why what do we call this we call this a v accumulation i don't think this text is really clear here so i might type it out again okay we call this a v accumulation stage over here so let me just take it out from there all right so i'm going to use my text to, to write it down here or oh, on top so this is our re accumulation stage over here so basically this is accumulation why this itself all right is going to be accumulation so let me clone this so i can take it over here and show you better I think it got cloned to the chart. All right, so this is called accumulation, and this will be a reaccumulation stage, right? Because you don't call it accumulation again, because that's accumulated before. That condition that happened in that same uptrend is going to be called. Once it happens again, it's going to be called the reaccumulation, right? The same thing happens when it comes to a downtrend, right? So let's look at this directly. This is the downtrend. Yeah. And then the market goes like this. Breaks the downside. Goes up again. Then breaks the downside again. Okay, we're almost where chart is. So yes. Let me move this way so I can see it. Now when this happens in markets. We can call this segment over here. We don't call it accumulation. We call this a distribution. All right. This is called a distribution over here. I think I've typed that down before. So let me just clone it. Okay. So I've cloned that. This is distribution. While this other segment here is not going to be called a distribution again, this place you don't call it a distribution. What will you call it? Let me um highlight it up so you can see what I'm talking about. What will you call this segment on charts? I'm not going to call it distribution, I'm going to call it a redistribution stage because it's happening again, All right? So I'm going to add arrow A to the front, and yes, that's literally the redistribution stage. So this is basically basics of market structure let me move this okay i think i have everything in charts yes if you want to take a screenshot so i can always come back to this you can take a screenshot but yes this is market structure one the basics we have the stages of the markets the accumulation advancing distribution and decline here's the accumulation here's the advancing the distribution decline show you again accumulation but this time around there's a reaccumulation here we have distribution and this time around we have redistribution this is literally the market structure one and shows the stages of the markets. I believe this video has actually broken down the intro to market structure. While in our next video, we're going to be talking about market structure two, where we'll be discussing demand and supply zone concepts. 
if you haven't subscribed to this community do not subscribe and follow us on x okay follow us on x that's formerly known as twitter i would do break down with this screenshot i just asked you to take and i'm discussing market structure there also on x all right i believe this video has been helpful do not subscribe like and share i'll be seeing you in the next video tomorrow peace